Hey everyone, Tom here from TechNexus and thanks for joining me for today's video. Now this is the third video in this week's series and because we've had a short week this week, it was a public holiday here on Monday, I uh, only got a chance to do four videos and this being the third one, I just wanted to go through some of the create design options. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to go through the vehicle tracking. But with the, the design options, I also wanted to have a quick talk about um, the country kits. So if you do a, a quick Google uh, for Civil 3D country kits, uh, you'll be taken to an AKN uh, site where it, it'll give you the list of all the ones that are available and me being here in Australia, uh, we'll just have a look at the Australian ones. And I'll just look at the readme for this. And it'll go through what uh, what is available for the ANZ region. So if you're watching from Australia, this might uh, pertain to you. So uh, there's this Civil 3D drip function. And then uh, this got to do with aquaplaning, some more parameters in there. And then if we scroll down, so section labels. Um, but more importantly, and I don't think it really covers it in this PDF, but it doesn't look like it does. What I'll do is just go back to the release notes. So it doesn't even explain it in here either. So what it, what it does have is uh, some of the more local um, standards so RMS and Vic Roads and, and all the other sort of states have their own sort of little uh, standards and idiosyncrasies so uh, Autodesk have come back and included that in some of those there so what will happen is when you install them um, I know with the ANZ ones you get a different uh, icon to, to kick off with um, but for what I'm going to go through today is just going to be the default um, uh, Civil 3D metric but again, if you're watching from Australia or even for any other country for that matter, uh, have a look at these uh, country sites. So you can see, uh, you know, if we go to Germany, uh, there'll be one there for, for Germany as well. And you can, you can read the PDF file in there. So um, I guess it, it means that there's less work for you to do if you're going to be uh, doing localization, which is always handy. Now, with uh, you know, yesterday we we did a recap, and the day before we did InfoX. But today, you know, if we're starting from blank design, um, you've got this design uh, box here, and just going through sort of through each one. So, uh, parcel creation tools. So, if you're creating land parcels, um, you, you can make um, land parcels just from from even just AutoCAD objects, and then you can use the tools. Uh, in there to um, you know to to make your own. You, you can use slide lines, or you can use free from create. And there are also um, let me see if I can dig it up here. So that's creating the the, the parcels themselves. Um, but there is options in there to to determine with the the parcels. Um, you know things like minimum frontage and then the area so then that way you can just click a land area and get silver thread in to do most of the automation for you uh, and obviously there is manual overrides in there so if you wanted to do uh, you know some land parcels or if that's your kind of work this is the icon you'd be looking at uh, any feature lines if you needed to I um, I haven't really used too many of them myself but I have heard of people using them for doing things like retaining walls um, so again if you if you're doing that kind of work and you haven't come across feature lines maybe explore that uh, grading tools in there as well so um, uh, creates a grading object so <coughs> excuse me um, if you do need to, then obviously the, the grading tools is where, where you'd come in here. And, and I think um, I'm going to go through probably each one of these at a later date when I've got um, sort of a full week available to, to myself to, to do uh, some of these videos but and, and go into it a little bit deeper. But for what I wanted to do for this week, it's more for the newer people uh, to get uh, used to what's available in Civil 3D and then we can go through it uh, in more detail later. Uh, Road alignments, so alignment creation tools. So I can uh, come in here and, and do road alignments. So you can see if I uh, if I come in and let's just zoom in. 
So you can see here, there's my start point. Uh, so it's a bit short. Let's do that again. And let's do it a little bit longer just so it actually looks like it means something. So I'll just do an alignment and a fixed line for two points. And you can see there's there's our alignment. And you know just to, to give you a bit of insight uh, into um, oops, what we can do with some of these things. So I want to create a, a couple of alignments. Um, and then what I want to do is um, put go into the vehicle tracking and this is sort of something that I'm going to cover tomorrow is uh, I'll just do just a basic uh, roundabout so then when I do uh, come in here and pick uh, each of these alignments for this roundabout you can see that the vehicle tracking uh, roundabout function lets us add these alignments to that roundabout there. So again, even if I have to move it around, it might be a bit hard to see in the video, but you can see that it it performs all the, the necessary calculations to, to readjust uh, the roundabout according to those alignments as well. So this that's where you uh, would be using the alignments there. Uh, any, any profile functionality so again I think it might be worth sort of having a look at these in a little bit more detail in in future um, so we can pick an alignment and then draw a profile against it road corridors so uh, I think I showed it when I did the InfraWorx model so when we had the, the road corridors in uh, InfraWorx they came into um, Civil 3D so uh, again I think that's probably something this that we can cover at a later date but this is basically sort of uh, you know what your road is going to be made up of uh, any other intersections so again similar similar to the roundabout I guess functionality but uh, we, we do have the ability to, to create intersections uh, in there any other uh, assemblies so uh, sectional design components or sub assemblies in there as well so um, got to do uh, with the, the, the roads and any pipe network creation tools as well so again a lot of silver 3d art and, and in my mind I, I guess you could say that it's probably a little bit like Revit that you get a lot of people who use only one or two specific options uh, in there so you might get people who do a lot of land uh, and they will only ever really sort of maybe touch the the parcel maybe feature lines and grading but that's all they'll do um, again with the roads there'll be people who, who concentrate just on the road side and there'll be people who just concentrate on the pipe network side so um, you know I, I'm not entirely sure what it's like there out there in industry if you get someone who's an expert at everything um, but I, I dare say that you will get experts who uh, concentrate more so on one thing itself so I know uh, this this video has been short and sweet and then again I think just because of the timing of the week um, and what I've had the ability to do uh, around other projects that I've got going um, this is sort of something that I think we will cover in in depth at a later date uh, just when I get a, a little bit more time to get into it so um, like everything I, I always end it with uh, you know thanks for watching thumbs up if you liked the video thumbs down if you didn't and please do subscribe to the channel um, and tomorrow we're just going to have a quick look at uh, AVT um, some of the tools in there so it is part of the AEC collections it does sit on top of anything that's AutoCAD so you can use it with AutoCAD or you can use it with Civil 3D um, and we'll dive through that a little bit so that'll be swept paths, parking and roundabouts uh, we might do a quick little animation too um, but again thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow some a for some AVT and then probably you know in a couple of weeks or so we'll dive uh, we'll have a bit of a deeper dive and a bit of a, a deeper play around with some of these design options in there and hopefully they can satisfy some of your needs so again thank you very much and I will see you tomorrow for some AVT see you later